All right, let's think about how to exploit some symmetries here. How many subsets of size n are there taken from a collection of n things? How many ways are there of picking n of these n things? Just one. You've got to take them all, right? You don't have any choice. There's only one way to do that. So n choose n ought to be 1 as well. Well, all that's happened, the difference between n choose n and n choose 0 is that we flop these terms. n choose 0 gives a 0 factorial and an n minus 0 factorial, which is n factorial. So we get 0 factorial and n factorial. n choose n gives us n factorial and 0 factorial. Same two terms in the opposite order. Product's the same. The ratio is the same. It's still 1. Okay. In general, if I take k and change k to n minus k, what happens, to, what, what happens to this? Numerically, it's equal. All I've done is change the order of these two terms. Because if I, if, if I take k and take it to n minus k, then what happens, to, what happens to n minus k? n minus k goes to n minus n minus k, which is k. So n choose k is identically equal to n choose n minus k. So this is a, a little, let's start making a collection of facts over here. OK, n choose 0 equals n choose n equals 1. n choose k equals n choose n minus k. Those are, those are two, two little facts we've just discovered. Well, heuristically, why does it make sense for n choose k to be equal to n choose, minus, choose n minus k? Well, picking one element, uh, let's, let, let me. Uh, Picking one element to be in our subset is the same as picking n minus one elements not to be in our subset. Right? You can think of specifying a set or specifying the complement of the set. Right? Picking two things to be in the set is completely equivalent to picking n minus two things not to be in the set. That, that's what this is expressing. Picking k things to be in your subset is equivalent to picking n minus k things not to be in your subset. There's the same number of ways of doing those two things. They're equivalent. 